Can you tell if this artist is a woman? How about this one? The male gaze is a concept that comes out of film studies. And basically it's the idea that the patriarchy has developed parameters, let's say, that we don't even realize are in our brains. And so when people depict women, it is defined by the male gaze. People who are men or women are suspect to the forces of the male gaze because the patriarchy is an overarching force. And while it came out of film theory, it's something that exists in painting, it exists in advertising, it exists in any kind of visual media. This artist, Isabel Albuquerque, says that she's working against the male gaze and instead trying to create a new mythical female gaze. Her works have often been criticized for falling into the same norms, though, that objectify women. Creating women who are only bodies. Talk about objectifying them. And this is very different than male artist James Haig, who does these women who are sometimes called m angular and depressed depictions of women. They all have heads, they sometimes have clothes. They're also looking at the viewer, which gives them agency. So since this isn't objectified, does this mean that he is breaking the male gaze? No, he's still doing a nude. The male gaze isn't a singular way of thinking how women are depicted. It's instead a language, a long-standing language of systematic forms of speaking of women. This draws on that image I showed earlier, the Grand Odalisque, this tradition of women being seen reclining nude. In other words, by creating something within our society, you are always suspect to the male gaze, whoever you are. And like still don't know what the hell I'm talking about? I encourage you to go link in bio to hear the next episode of the podcast, Art Loss Podcast, which is all about the male gaze and goes into this much deeper.